Hello friends, it's me Beth and this is part two of Amish shopping in Walkerusa, Indiana. Now the first store was Grandma's Pantry and that store has a bakery, it has the deli, a lot of the jams, the jellies, the soups. This is an Amish store too but it's the other end of the spectrum. It's very small and it has discount foods. Everything in here is pretty much at a discounted price. They do have some bulk. Uh, other than that, there are very few similarities. They are only eight minutes apart. Now, Madison Country Store right here, it's on the right of the photo. You can see, you know, laundry in line. In here is their house. That's the Amish family's house right there. So the store is right there on their property. When you get in the store, you can see it's super clean. Uh, the aisles are nice size. It's not a big store, but it is a store to go to if you're in the area and you want a bargain. Now, not everything in the store is expired or dinged up, but you do have to look to get it. The store is so small. That's their register and uh, checkout area up there on the left. Straight ahead, they do have some meat in the freezer. Now, pretty much everything else is a discount thing. For example, here is a crunchy uh, Old El Paso taco dinner kit for 10 cents. Yes, it's 10 cents. The reason why is because the best buy date was two months ago. So that's January and we're in March. So it's two months past the best buy date. So it's marked down to 10 cents. I will show you the regular shelf um, shelves, what they are that have not went past their best buy date. Those 10 cent items um, that I'm talking about right now, they're on that back wall. There also, you know, are some 10 cent items on the shelves as well. Uh, 10 cent grocery shopping. Uh, another item they have was the salad dressing. It did not matter what brand and it did not matter what flavor. If it was past its best by date on this day that I was here, uh, it was 10 cents. Now, I believe if the best by date hadn't approached, it was 50 cents. Um, can't say for sure, but here I can show you. I took a photo. These are, you know, two and a half, three months past their best buy date. Uh, I'm kind of leery. I don't buy that sort of stuff. Salad dressing, especially past it. I'm afraid it'll go rancid just like nuts. But some of you tell me you have no problem with this. And that's why I'm sharing it with you. Here's 50 cent Miracle Whip. A couple months past its best buy date. Now these, this is one of the examples, that 50 cents for a one pound, six ounce can of turnip greens and collard greens, not dented uh, and not past its best buy date. These were 50 cents each. I also bought the standard size green vegetables for 39 cents a can, best buy date of 2023. Here you can see in the 39 cent area as well, this uh, macaroni and cheese, they had the spirals, they had the regular, organic, any of those, 39 cents. I grabbed one to show you. The best buy date was August 15th of 2021. So it still had quite a few months before there was any worry. Now this is an El, old El Paso kit, a hard and soft shell kit. It is 75 cents. This is the cost of their taco shells that have not went past that Best Buy date. I found some that were um, September. So we're talking a good six, seven months before they hit their, you know, Best Buy date. So great deal. I thought I did good on that Meyer video I shared with you for 90 cents each. Walked in there today, they were 75 cents. They have a half of an aisle of nothing but things like this. These are the Special K bars September 2021, you know, we're in March. So we're talking about a lot of space there. These are $1.25 a box. This is where I go. Um, here's another Nature Valley protein bar, $1.25. These are $1.25 to $1.55 a box right now, uh, depending on the br uh, brand and dependent on uh, the count. Like here, there's 10 of these kind minis in here and they're $1.55. And these weren't expired items, by the way. Uh, this is where I go to get a lot of things for my husband's lunch box. If I pack him a lunch, I mean, I, obviously I'm going to send him for sweet stuff. Also things like bananas and cuties. But sometimes, you know, I throw one or two of these in there if he's going to have an extra long day. And for the price, and, and like I said, they're not, these 
Um, right here, for example, these you could get the brownie, the birthday cake, the lemon, or the chocolate chip, uh, chocolate chip cookie. Dollar twenty-five, and they had time left on them. They have a large variety of cereal. These were a dollar a box. Some are cheaper and some are more expensive. It depends on how far out the date is, how big the box is, and so forth. And then in the dollar breakfast area, they had things like instant grits with the butter, the country bacon, the flavor variety, and also the jalapeno cheddar. In that breakfast section, they had 89 cent pop tarts, flavors like frosted chocolate chip, a frosted chocolate cupcake, they had the Simply Harvest Strawberry and a pretzel chocolate. Now the strawberry, I flipped that down so you could see that's a July 2021. It's not real far out. Uh, the Frosted Chocolate Cupcakes were, um, Pop-Tarts were out until October of 2021. So I picked some of them up from my mom. I bought all those cake mixes at Myers for 90 cents that I shared with you. So when I seen the Betty Crocker uh, Rich and Creamy, Vanilla frosting for 89 cents. It was good until October of 2021. I grabbed a couple of those. If you look, you can see that Funfetti icing is missing its lid. Those are the kind of things you could find in the store. So it's one of those things. It's like a treasure hunt. If you don't have time to shop that way, definitely not the store for you. Now, then they have things that are kind of just regular. Uh, this is a 10 pound bag of rice, $6.50. So, I mean, the lunch stuff. I guess we'll go back to that now. Uh, this is 55 cents. And this is where I watch the store very closely. If you go to these kind of stores, in the middle you can see this has seven months on it. 10, 12, 20, 21. But if you look to the left, there's some there that are already, you know, pretty far past their Best Buy date. So I try to get the ones that aren't in that condition. Rice Krispie treat, Treats, 25 cents, uh, not expired. They have things like baby formula. I don't know what these things should cost. I haven't had a baby in 18 years, but that can of Infamil was 99 cents and um, it was on a different shelf. I pulled it up there so I could take it in the photo so you didn't have so many pictures of baby formula. Uh, they didn't have many of these left, $4.99. So they had different varieties, uh, dry, they had the liquid. Long story short, those prices look cheap to me. I don't know. Haven't had a baby in forever, but I don't think it was that cheap when I did. Here's all the pet food cat food was in huge supply um this is the bulk if you don't need the bulk uh, they have them in smaller containers also if you need more bulk than this you can ask them and they can go in the back and get it for you they just keep a few set out so it is a bulk store as well if you live in northern indiana or if you visit northern indiana maybe if you're visiting shipshawana i know people from michigan come down uh, people from Chicago come across. This is one of those stores not far from Shipshawana. You can get great deals. By the way, this is the schoolhouse I passed going to and from uh, the store. And you can see the smoke coming out the chimney. And you can see the buggies. You can see a few of the bikes in the front and a few of the bikes on the side. But when you're in the, this area, I went in the morning. You've got to be so careful. There were students out walking and riding their bikes to school. There's about 20 of them waiting outside the schoolhouse. Um, obviously I'm not going to take their picture. They're not my children, I, you know, added in the fact they're Amish. I, I mean, there's no way, but I just wish you could get a visual of how cute it was seeing them outside that school. It made me smile. If you like this video, give me a like, take care.